Hi, my name is Cesar Sabalas. Welcome to uh, City Lights Art Gallery here in Henderson. And I want to talk about my exhibition and of course my artwork. So the name of the exhibition is an exhibition in an exhibition. I like to talk about first this painting here. The title is Red Square for Justice 3. Uh, the material I've used is uh, watercolor paper and I use watercolor and gouache. And as you can see, the red square in the middle, almost in the middle, represents the red square. It's not a material, it has to do with the light coming in to emphasize the squareness of the topic of the title. And then the moon has a reflection. The reflection is a reflection of lives of people that need justice of have, or have suffered to injustices around the world. So this building represents Red Square in Moscow, and I also describe Red Square in Beijing. We're gonna to go to the second one. This, this painting is titled uh, Our Echo Snail Connection. It has to do with the relationship to nature. That snail is slow, at the same time, that's what we need in our human lives. Slow down, you know, smell the flowers, relax. So this is also another watercolor and gouache. What I did here was important is to put a rope to make the form or forms. And I folded the paper like a gutter and painted this first time. And then after half an hour, I painted the one on the right side with the fold, unfolding it. The third painting I want to talk about is Cosmic Lakes. That's the title. Now, as you can see, the rope kind of sort of make it sort of an irregular shape. Uh, I, I think it depicts about there are no straight lines. And I sort of put an arrow and a tail, if you can decipher it. And then, of course, I left the white space to depict sort of the light and the spirit of called being cosmic. These paintings are very important, but I think this is very important for a lot of people's lives in, in trying to honor uh, veterans, Veterans Day. Now, this painting is, is about World War II to honor uh, women of service and of course men and all genders. It's titled Bataan March and U.S. Army Nurses in the Philippines. Again, this is a World War II. As you can see, the Japanese soldier is sort of faded. There's an emphasis on sort of the shadow, which is almost like a cross, to emphasize the death march of the painting. It's actually an event that really happened. And then the collage is so important because it's a true sort of journalism of what had happened historically. Again, this is gouache and watercolor. So, so now we're going more abstract. So the title is Mumbai, Compass to Find Ways. Again, any big city in around the world Nowadays, it's hard to find a way. So, in a way, it's good to depict some patterns of different colors and shapes, which emotionally and also try to find our ways. We get too emotional, we get stressed out, we get all the traffic. But I think the colors would sort of make people realize the importance of uh, finding a ways and being human and being patient. And I, I guess what I did here was to, to use gouache and use salt. And then there's a certain time of in between elements of, of essentially putting down the net. Now, these are sort of phrases of net when you buy your oranges at the grocery store. So I made use of the uh, sort of a structure and also the sort of the, uh, the matrix that, that shows the element of patterns. And I would like to thank 
uh, everyone from you know for supporting me, especially City Lights Art City Lights Art Gallery yeah, here in Henderson. And I hope you can join us and be a member and join me to paint a lot of things we could discover with. Thank you.